Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel Andrea's Attic. Uh, this is a colour and chat video. This channel is an adult channel and the videos are made for adults and they're in no way, shape or form, made for children. So, we're going to continue with Ladies of Nature by Alina Lazareva. So first of all, I just want to say hello to everybody. I hope you're all well. I want to say hello to all my uh, new subscribers and hello to all my old subscribers. Welcome back. We are currently colouring in this one. So I'm going to zoom in. We're doing the um, uh, thing on the top of red at the moment. <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. Um, and uh, we're just going to carry on just colouring it in and just having a chat. So how are you all? I hope you're well. So I'm sorry there hasn't been a colouring chat in last week. Um, this is because the weather's been far too hot to sit in the bedroom and film. It's, it's the bedrooms, they just get so hot, it's unbearable. This is the first night where I've actually sat up here and I'm, I don't feel like I'm sweating so much that it's literally going to run off me and hit the paper. So, yeah, so it's been very hard to try and do anything really. So I do apologise. So you'll be seeing this on Monday. I'm filming it on Sunday. Normally on Monday we have our weekly vlog. There wasn't one this week. Um, this is just simply because it was too hot and I thought it would be a good idea to have a week off. I will be filming one this week. So if you're one of the people who really enjoys that, I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, I have damaged the lens of the camera, not the lens, but the cover. Uh, so I don't know how it's going to work. So we'll just have to see how it goes. The camera still works. It's just the, the lens covering flops down a bit and it might cover part of the camera lens. But we'll have a look at it and see how it goes. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's been, been very, very hot. We've had some thunder. We had some very loud thunder today. Oh my gosh, it was loud. Um, we've had thunder and lightning. We've had rain. But it's still awfully muggy. It's the humidity that gets me. I don't mind the heat. It's actually just the humidity that does my... I just can't cope with the humidity. But the actual heat I quite like. We uh, On the days when it wasn't raining, we went in the paddling pool. And that was just really nice. I just We just went in with our clothes on. Like, you know, I just went on in shorts and a t-shirt. Paul went in in his shorts and t-shirts. And Jennifer went in in... Uh, she did have a swim nappy on. Um, just because otherwise you end up with all sorts of bits floating in it out of the uh, proper nappy. And uh, she just went in her t-shirt and her leggings. And splashed about and tried to... <laughs> she's trying to, to swim, bless her. Which was really quite sweet. Had a few eBay sales. Again, it's been far too hot to do any photographing. I haven't listed anything, so I'm lucky I'm getting the sales. So all my talk about, oh, this month I'm really going to go for it. I really haven't, but uh, I am hoping tomorrow to start listing, which is actually today for you guys, Monday. So I'll let you know in the next current chat if I've been listing. Um, August is generally a quiet month anyway, because everybody's on holiday. Um, but I have had a few sales. As I said, as long as I make my fees, I'm not worried. As long as I make fees and if I can make a little bit of profit, excellent. But I'm not, I don't worry about it too much. I don't rely on it. It is money for savings. It tops up my salary. It means I can continue to work part time. And it is, it's money saved for holidays and things like that. So we're doing okay. So Jennifer's fine, she's doing things, oh, she changes every day, it's like today when we went shopping she climbed into the car herself, she needed help getting into her car seat, she didn't want to go in her car seat, she wanted to sit in, on the back seat in a proper chair, <laughs> but obviously she has to go in her car seat at the moment, but she, she climbed in on her own and she's never done that before, and yesterday for the first time she went up the stairs without holding my hand, so she's still... I'm still right behind her. She holds on to the banisters. Normally I hold her hand and help her up and she leans on me. No more. She's just started going. So you might hear her. She's not asleep yet. She is in bed. But because it's quite warm, she's um, like everybody struggling to sleep. So it is what it is. And uh, 
we're doing the best we can with her to to get her to sleep and sometimes it means if she's if she's chattering away in her her bedroom it's just leaving her she will go to sleep eventually and i hate doing it because obviously she's doing it to get attention she wants us but she's got to learn that when she's in bed it's sleep time i mean sometimes she'll wake up at four or five o'clock or even three o'clock and i'll get up because she she just screams and i'll get her out and take her downstairs and until she's tired again and i put her back to bed and by which point i thought i'm knackered and there's no point in me coming back to sleep because it's practically time for me to get up um but yeah it's it's part of being a mum, you, you deal with these things and, you know, she's a good girl. Paul took her to the park today. Um, we went shopping and we went to see my mum and dad and take some stuff down for them. We've got to sort that out. Um, that dad forgot to get when he went shopping on Friday because he forgot to pick up his little list. Oh, love him. Uh, so I went and did that and, yeah, so it's all good. She... Uh, we played with him for a little bit when we came home and had our lunch and she had some lunch which is good because she doesn't always want to eat at lunchtime but she she did and then I was so hot I had a shower and uh Paul uh banged on her and said I'm taking her to the park she wants to go to the park I'm like oh, okay so he took her to the park then when I was in the shower and I came upstairs and watched a bit of TV and got dressed and played my game, did some colouring and, you know, just that sort of stuff really. And she uh, had a nice time apart and then she went asleep. So we all had a little rest. It's so hot, you just don't want to do anything. So we had a little rest in the afternoon then. Um, it was nice. But now she don't want to go sleep at night, but... Part of it's she's not doing as much as she should be. We do as much as we can with her, but obviously we've got other things to do, like tomorrow morning. I've got to go to the office to pick up something. I've got to take something with me, but I've got to take something. I've got to pick up a new laptop. I've got to take mine back, get a new one. And then I've got to um, go to, you know, I've got to hang around while the IT guy does something with it to get it ready and then I'll drive back so I'm Paul and I have to watch her for that point until I get back and then we both got to work obviously I only work till half twelve-ish um, and then I'll finish and it's supposed to rain tomorrow and I want to go and look at something so I want to walk when I get down to mum's um, so I'll pack her rain stuff and then we'll drive down in the car tomorrow and just go and get her some exercise, take her for a little walk down that end, go somewhere see something different basically, even if it's raining. She loves walking in the rain. It's quite sensible, she won't go on like the slide in the rain, but she will walk her in and like all kids she loves to jump in the puddles. Who doesn't? I mean, you're never too old to jump in a puddle, are you? Let's be honest. But, uh, yeah. So, she loves it. We'll use a different red for the strawberries in a minute. I haven't finished many pictures this month. I'm not worrying about it. The pictures I've done, I've been doing, I've been a bit harder to do. So like this one, and I've been doing a lot on my Kirby Rosanna. So I've done five, I think, so far. And of course I'm doing my, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, first impressions um, videos and stuff like that. And I've got another budget pencil review one to do, so. like that you see so I was going to put up a flip through on Sunday night and I just didn't have the time I just forgot I was doing something else so 
It's got too many hobbies. I was doing some. I was cleaning some records. I had a load of seven inches that I bought. So 45s as they're called in the States. We call them seven inches over here because they're not always 45. You can get some 33 seven inches. Same as you can get some 45 12 inches. More of a thing. Um, it's not very often that happens that you get 33 seven inches. But you do get them. I've got a couple in my collection. But uh, I was just cleaning the rest of my 45s. And then putting them in order before I listened to them. Um, put them in alphabetical order. Be quite interesting to listen to. Because some of it's stuff I haven't heard, some of it's really random, old fashioned stuff. But I like to listen to different things, so I'll try anything I will. There we go, that'll do for that. I'll probably go over it again um, off camera. I'll just pop that back in there. And we want a nice red for the strawberries, so we'll use this one, which is, I think, Scarlet Lake. Ah, I use Crimson Lake on that one, Scarlet Lake on strawberries. But we also need a kind of chartreuse colour for this colour, for the things, which is yellow chartreuse for the seeds. Yeah. So it's all go everywhere and I know that uh, we're imposing um, stricter quarantines again on certain countries. Um, so people like in France, they're all trying to rush back into the UK or they were, it happened, it started yesterday at 4am, I think it was something like that. Um, they were all trying to rush back before it happened. So they wouldn't have to quarantine for two weeks, like so, 14 days when you get back if you've gone to certain countries and they're adding more all the time. So I can hear Jennifer chattering in her bedroom, so I do apologise if you can hear that. It's just because she don't want to go to sleep yet. But she knows we're up. She thinks she should be allowed to be up with us. Oh, <laughs> she's eating having a good yell. She thinks she should be up with us. If we're up, she should be up. But of course, we can stay up till like 11, 12 o'clock some days. I certainly do with my eBay and my colouring. I try not to. Oh, she's making her funny yowie, yowie, yowie noises. She's so sweet. <laughs> and, um, so they've added that to this uh, sort of quarantine Thing. and they're just adding more all the time I don't even know why they bothered opening up the air travel I know they're trying to get the economy going and the travel industry has been really hit but it's all it's just now they're estimating this could last as long as 2023 I mean I gotta be honest I don't mind working from home it'll be easier for me when Jennifer's in school because the problem is I'm going to have no one to look after her during the holidays. Whereas if I'm working from home, I can keep an eye on her and set her things to do. But... I mean, it's possible that the nursery she goes to now, she might be able to go to Holy Holiday Club down there. With any luck. They do do one, so it'd be, it'd be nice for her to do that when she's in school. But she's not in school yet, so we need to apply for places next year. January, I think it is. Or maybe, I don't know. I'm not up on this because different councils do it different ways. not going to sleep at all tonight. It's only nine o'clock but you know she's only two and a half she should really be in bed sound asleep by now. But no. No 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 no. She's not having that. I can go back over the dots later as well. 
because I know I've missed a few. Let's get the red done. It's looking nice, isn't it? I really like this picture. I think it's lovely. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get some more of her books. I mean, I know I, I, the most books I buy are Jade Summer. It's just I really, really do like the Jade Summer books. Um, and they are cheap. Now, they're bringing one out this week. They say it's something they've never done before. So we all think we're pretty sure it's going to be a colour by numbers because people were saying they wanted one. Now, <sighs> colour by numbers, they're not really for me. I do understand why people enjoy them. Um, but I hate the fact that you can always see the numbers through the colour. To me, I, I don't like that. Some people want to see the numbers through the colours, so, you know. After, yeah, so I, I, I'm in two minds as to whether to get it or not, I've got to be honest. I'm not actually sure yet whether I will. I mean, I'm never going to get a complete Jade Summer collection because a lot of the really early books aren't available. And I've actually got some of those ones that aren't available. Like, I'm colouring in the uh, Ancient Egypt one at the moment. And that's no longer available. And I've had, that was one of the first ones I bought. In fact, I think it probably was the first Jade Summer book I bought because um, I love Ancient Egypt and I was looking for colouring books on Ancient Egypt. And I bought that one and another one. And I'm pretty sure it's one of the earliest ones I bought. I mean, I, I, there were a few others, like there was a Molly Harrison as well I bought, but I'm pretty sure that was the first Jade Summer I bought. And uh, it's been sitting on the shelf because I've been too afraid to colour in it, because I didn't want to ruin the pictures because they were Egypt related, and now I've thought that's stupid, I really want to colour in it. And I have started colouring in it, and I really like the picture I'm doing, and I'm liking the way it's looking so far. So when I finish this video, I am going to put on the TV and watch some films about records, some videos about records and record collecting because sometimes I like to do that. And I'm going to carry on with that one because it's coming on very nicely. It's just like I can hear a voice, it makes me laugh. And the thing is, now she'll fall asleep later. And uh, she'll get up later, which won't be good because I won't be here. So she won't be happy because I'd be, I, I'm estimating it's going to take me about an hour to sort out what I've got to sort out at work tomorrow. Um, and it's first thing in the morning, so I'll be leaving at eight. And it forms part of my work day because it's for work. I get to do it during work hours. So I'm not going to complain because, you know, it's going to be about an hour off my work day drive down there and just wait for this to happen this whatever it is he's doing I just finish it at my normal time um, the, only thing about, the other thing about this heat is it don't have to make you tired do you know what I mean I'm constantly tired. It's just the heat is so draining. I mean, I'm not like I said. I'm not big, big on the heat. Like I said, I don't mind the heat. It's the humidity, but I do find if it when it's humid like this, it makes me really tired. I'm just trying to avoid the dots so I can go back over it with the chartreuse later. Don't they look right? I'm going to use this same red on her lips, I think, because I don't know. That was my phone. No, it wasn't. I don't know what that was. Something fell off. <laughs> I think it was a remote control for the TV. I haven't got it on, so it doesn't matter. So I do apologise for the little bang. Bang crash. Okay, I'm going to do a lips with this colour. I love this colour. I think this is beautiful. Let's 
so yeah I hope everybody's fine and you're all keeping safe and it's not too scary where you are I mean as I was talking to the the cashier in Lidl she's really nice she's uh, been there since Jennifer was little so she's watched her grow up really because we go in there every week and um, we were talking to her and she says it's weird and that How's it, and she says, how's it been being back out? I said, well, it's still a bit weird, really. You know, first time I came out, it was really freaky. But And it was the same going to work, because I went to the office last week to get something. Um, in the week, I think it was Thursday. Yeah, Thursday morning I went to get something. And I, drove, I left at 8 o'clock. And at 8 o'clock normally, the road to Newport is normally, I mean it is the school holiday so it would be quiet anyway normally but it would still be fairly busy and it was dead and then our office we've got several car parks, we've got more than one car park our office, we've got three and um, car park one by eight o'clock is normally rammed, it's full, you can't get any more in there um, but there's so few people in the office that I parked in there and there was like one row of cars, not even one full row of cars in the office. It's just really bizarre. I've never seen anything like it. So it was quite weird going in and seeing it, it like that. Um, let me just put that one back in for now. I know which car it is. So yeah, it was very, very straight. I don't think that one goes there really. I think it goes in, no, it must go, well, it goes somewhere. No, it goes up there. What's happened is I've moved somehow, they, I've moved something along. I think it's this one, but it doesn't really matter as long as I can find the ones I want. Um, so we'll give her some eyebrows now. I'm going to use brown, what color is this? Chocolate. It has been very, very strange going down to the office and there's no one there. And then it's really, it is really, really, really odd. There's no one at the office except for like security, obviously the post room are in because we still get mail. Um, and there's a few other people in, like IT obviously. Certain teams have to be in, but it's very, very limited. So it's very, it is very strange going into the office and seeing like that. Very, very strange. Um, You know, it is what it is and we have to see what happens next and we'll, we'll do what we do and we'll go You know You just can't think too much about it if you if you worried too much you'd end up probably you know it would be so depressing wouldn't it let's be honest it's scary enough as it is and we have a sort of a hazily colour eyes and put a little bit of green over it oh that's nice Yeah, I like her eyes. Her eyes look good. The only other thing I would do, and this is a little makeup trick, that you do have in the corner of your eye a tiny little blood vessel, and you can actually see it. So you just put a little bit in there, and it makes it look more real. 
apparently. So they tell me. Right, well, looks like we're going to be doing some leaves. So we're going to use this dark green here, which is, it's actually called grass green. So. For the ones on the strawberries. enjoying this grayscale picture. I never thought I would enjoy it as much as I am. So I will definitely be trying more grayscale. I think that's actually part of the background. Oops, doesn't matter. I will definitely be trying some more of these grayscale pictures. I will definitely get some more. I really like the book. There's lots of really nice ones in here. This is, as far as I could tell, one of the simpler ones. But, uh, or, and it's not that simple because you've got all the bits on the mushroom, the toadstool and the things. But uh, I am enjoying it. Um, I, I do like this picture. I think it's a lovely picture. So yeah, I'll have a f back to normal now. It should be cooling down enough for me to be able to get back to filming. Um, car and chat twice a week. And then doing my eBay. So I should be uh, doing my uh, weekly vlog. So it's only just the middle of the month. So we've got plenty of things to be doing. That's that one. I'm going to use a different colour for the, the oak. Well, they look like oak leaves, don't they? So, what colour is this one? This is sort of an apple green. Hmm. How's that one? That's a bit. I don't really want a dark green because it's crushing green. I think I'll use the apple green for now. I can always put a bit darker on if necessary. Just because. I don't want it. I mean, I know they're coming off and it could be autumn, but strawberries come out in summer, so. Yeah. Let's do these leaves here first, these ones. So there we go. It's actually a really nice green. Excuse me, sniffling. Strawberries, they come out like in the summer, so everything would be still very green. So I'm going to do the um, oak look like leaves with this green as well. So, it looks like Paul's come up to bed, so we're nearly on half an hour, the, the thing's going to go off in a minute, so... I might go with this with the darker green actually. I think it should be the same colour as the other ones down below, but I'm not sure. There we go. Um, yeah, it's going to turn off in a second, so I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Let's uh, just do these leaves here. I'm not sure that is in the middle. I'll just do a green. 
don't know what it is, but it looks nice. So, yeah, we'll finish this one in the next video. Because, uh, yeah. I think I am going to go and go over that one with the darker green. What was it? Grass green, wasn't it? Yeah. Just so it matches those ones there. I'm not too worried about these ones up here. They're fine. Actually, that's better going over it like that. So I do apologise if it's a bit dark where my hand shade is because of the way I'm holding the pencil. It's the only way I can do it at the moment. So... Yeah, this one's a really pretty picture, so... I think the two different greens on there look quite nice, actually. Yeah, looks quite nice. She is still awake and still chatting. It's gone ten now at night. She did this, to be fair, she did this last night. We were doing a quiz and she, she went to bed and she chatted and cried all the way through it. Mm. We rushed up afterwards. I was going to have a shower, but I, I just didn't get to because I thought if I have a shower, I'm going to be in and out of the bedroom, up and downstairs because our shower's downstairs, our bathroom's downstairs. And I'm never, you know, it's, it's going to keep her awake. I mean, I came up and I read because and played the game on my phone because I thought I'm not even going to put the TV on because it'll disturb her. And I don't really want to, to keep her awake. So I... I thought no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it, and uh, so we, uh, I just played a game on my phone and read for a bit, and we, we just, eventually she went to sleep, and she'll do the same tonight, but she's got to learn that when it, she's in bed, it is bedtime, she can't be getting up and coming back downstairs to watch television, or play. When she's back at nursery it'll be a lot better because they'll be doing stuff all the time so she'll be she'll be tired all the time. She will be tireder which I think is great. It'll be better for all of us. Oh, get us that leaf done. Yeah, look, they look nice actually. I really like this this picture. It's absolutely stunning. This artist is Elena Lazaro, which is beautiful work. I will be getting more of her books. Absolutely, there's no question. I have to have more. Oh. I've got to stop buying colour books. I'm running out of space. I've got over over half a shelf of just Jade Summer and Colour in Heaven. And they're just the ones I've been coloured in. There's quite a few of Jade Summer and a few Colour in Heavens I haven't coloured in yet. But I'm working on it. I haven't ordered as many books this month. There will be a haul at the end of the month. But I've got maybe 11 books as opposed to 17 or 18. I've got two more to come. I'm not ordering any more. I say that. I'm going to try not to order any more. I don't want to order any more. I can't really afford to now because I've got her nursery fees to pay. Now, and I've got her... Um, obviously, I've got car insurance now. I had a couple of months off of that. And I'm trying to save a bit. Trying to put money in a, an account so we can get the rest of the living room finished and uh, renovated so that it's how it should be. Um, but luckily, I mean, it's like I haven't put any diesel in my car since before lockdown, so um, I need to put some in. It's getting low. It's still got three bars. I won't. I probably won't even fill it up. This. Well, I get. I don't want to get paid. And I'll probably put about 40 quid in. That won't fill it up. I don't know, actually, it might. 
And I'll put about 30 quid, something like that, and that'll keep me going, because obviously I'm not going very far in it. But at least we have been going out a bit more, which is, which is great. Whereas before we weren't, so... I don't know what these little berries are. I'll probably do the more orangey red. Oh, I'm getting stiff. I'll try and do these leaves. And then that'll be enough because we're heading up for 40 minutes. And I always think that's, that's plenty, plenty long enough really, isn't it? I like this book. I can see me colouring in this a fair bit. I really, really can actually. And that's why I know I need to want I want to get more of her books. I am enjoying grayscale a lot more. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I am. I I used to be terrified of it. I used to be absolutely terrified of it. But now I've sort of bitten the bullet and I quite enjoy it. And I have, to, I have colour in Heaven's Gothic Fantasy or Gothic Alchemy to thank for that. Because I had a few grayscale books. Yes, okay, I had a couple of the Jade Summer ones which are quite simple and I was just using the markers on but I hadn't used pencil. And then I got Gothic Alchemy and I did one in marker and I did one in the with the Black Widows and I really liked the way it looked. And I thought, you know what, if I hadn't had a subscription I never would have bought that book. I wouldn't have even, I'd have looked at it and thought, that's nice, but it's not for me. So, I mean, I know people saying, oh, I haven't liked the last couple of issues, I'm going to cancel my subscription. But for me, it's about doing stuff that's not what I would normally do. So, for instance, Fantasy Cats. I like it, I like the book, but it, I wouldn't, probably wouldn't pick it up and buy it. But I'm enjoying it, and I've started colouring one of the cats, and I've, I've really enjoyed colouring him. So, I, I, you know, for that, I'm glad. And the same with the Colin Thompson. I would never have picked up his book. They're far too busy. But the ones I've been doing, and I've I'm, I've started one, I finished one, didn't I? And I've started another one, which I've only done a little bit on. Um, but I've, I'm really in, enjoying it. So for that, I'm grateful because I'm doing things I never would have done before. Now, for instance, the collection one this month is Tim Jaffs. No, I'm not going to buy that because it's not my sort of thing. She's crying again. She's crying now to get attention. I'll have to go and check. She's all right in a minute. But, um, oh dear. I had it by the heart of the specials, but they're all fantasy. And yeah, I would have, I'd have coloured in it, but oh dear. I mean, I've got the dogs collection from 2018 that I've never coloured in and I can't see me colouring in it. So I am going to have to call it a night there while I go and sort out Jennifer. I will be going over this again because you can see bits where it's, it looks like it's missed. Um, but I'm actually just going to go and sort out Jennifer. So that's going to be it for tonight. That's where we are with her so far. We'll colour the rest of it in the next one and then I'll do some sort of blue background um, on my own. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.